This is Miss Brienne, and welcome back to Coding Craze. And this is the cl club based program that meets once a month during, when, during the time school is in session in order to provide you brief demonstrations and hopefully when we go back in person again, interactions and practice with all the different coding toys, games, robots, and computer software that we here have to offer at the West Hampton Free Library. All right, so give yourselves a round of applause. Now, as I mentioned before, we for this year, we've switched to, starting from now on, we're switching to once a month on Thursdays instead of Mondays due to other programs on Monday. So keep it in mind, we're being once a month on Thursdays now. But in any event, let's start with this month's session of coding craze. Now, as you know, as of last month, I show introduced you to Wonders Robot Dot, as well as all the different apps that you can use with Dot. Now, for this month, we are going to be I'm going to be demonstrating Hit Dot's friend which is Dash. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you know that the robots Dot and Dash, as well as all their respective apps, are from the company Wonder. So, with that being said, are we ready to begin? All right, here we go. So this robot here is Dash. And Dash is very similar to Dot. He has a head with one eyeball, and it will light up when I turn him on. But unlike Dot, all Dot can do is display lights and talk. Dash actually can move. So he's the robot that moves. And Dot and Dash are very good friends. And they get along very well. But you want to see how Dash works? Are we ready to begin? Alright, so over here is the power button. Let's see what happens when I press the power button. All right, so let's move. Now let's see what happens when we pick him up. Yeah, he's enjoying it. Kind of likes it. So he attracts when you t pick him up. He'll talk. But as you can see, he has three okay. but. Okay. So we're just going to let him talk. He has three buttons. Okay. So okay. he's got one labeled one, the other's labeled two, and the third is labeled three, and we have a center okay. button. So let's see what happens when we press button number one. He just moves. He just moves around a bit. Let's see what happens when we press button number two. And he'll just keep doing this until you make him stop. And let's see what happens when you press. Oh, hold on. Let's see what happens when you press button number. No, button number three. All right, hold on. There we go. And let's see what happens when we press the center button. And let's reset him. Now let's see what happens when we press the center button. And then button number three. 
And you, this is how you can control Dash without the tablet. So you can use, you can have fun with the buttons and you can control dash that way. But let me reset him. Uh, let's turn him around. Alright, so now we have the tablet. Now I'm going to try it with the tablet. Uh, it may not work. I was having some issues before connecting him. But if it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll switch to my phone because it seems to connect better with the phone. So, now, as you know, uh, with the same as Dot, he, Dash also has different apps. And I will show them right now. So the apps we have now is a wonder right over here, which is for dot and dash, go, go, which is for dot and dash, and blockly, which is for dot and dash. So those three apps I showed you with dot last month, you can use those with dash as well. But in addition to that, there is two other apps from Wonder, which are designed specifically for Dash only. You can't use them with Dot. And they are Path and Xylo. Path and Xylo are for Dash only. So if you just have Dot, you can't use these apps. And I'll be demonstrating them to you in a little while. But first, we're going to start with Wonder. So we're going to find Wonder and tap on it. Oh, there's the screen. We're going to press the play button. And there's no robot we can, we have we haven't connected to any robots yet, so we're going to press the little plus sign at the corner. It's searching for robots. And unfortunately, we, we can't connect with the tablet. So we're going to switch to the phone. There's been some issues connecting the dash with, with the tablet for some reason. All right, so it's going to get back on Wonder. So here's the screen. I'm going to press the play button and I'm going to turn down the sound. And it looks like it's already connected to Dash, as you can see here. But let's just double check. So he's, Dash is already connected. So we're going to start with controller. And these are all the different controls you can do with dot and dash. So let's press this button. And let's see what happens when I press the second button. <laughs> then there's the third button right over here. Look at that. <laughs> then we have oh and it's got this little controller that you can control dash with. So I'm and it's this one right over here. So let's take a look. So that's how you control Dash. And this moves his head. So when I do this, his head moves around. 
And this controls controls the lights. So it changes color every time I move this. So I'll give you a demonstration. So I'm moving this little slidey bar to control the lights on dash. How cool is that? Now you this you can use this as a controller or you can switch it to tilting. And you hold it down and and you use the phone to control dash. So let me put him back. There we go. Now next up we have lights. So when I tap on these little eyes. It controls the lights. So what? Let's see what one of the buttons does. Spins. Press another one. Smiley face. And turn on completely. And then we have these three buttons here. Let's press this one really quick and see what it says. It looks like it says bye. So let's see what happens. <laughs> then we have the next one, a smiley face. And then we have the third one that says hi, so let's see what happens with that. Hello. And let's see what happens when I press this smiley face button. Now, Dash has a few things. This is drive mode. We have the gripper mode, which I don't have. And then we have the launcher, which I'm not going to demonstrate today. But the drive mode is, is very cool. Now let's see what happens when I press the cow button right over here. And then finally the dog. And then the duck. Pretty cool, huh? So this is the remote control feature on the Wonder app for Dash. Neat, huh? All right, so the next thing we're gonna, I'm going to show you is the scroll quest. So we're going to tap on that. And it says Wonder Workshop 4 out of 6 completed. We're going to tap on that. We're going to start a Hello World. So we're going to start over. And it says Welcome. We play with robots to make them smarter. So make Dash say hi automatically. So we have Dash and it has an animate a block that says hi. We're going to take this and we're going to connect Dash to this hi animation. And to start we're going to press the play button. So let's, here we go. So we said hi. So he's very happy. So we're going to continue the quest. So now we're going to go to celebrations. Start over. It says, wow, Dash is super excited to meet you. Let's help Dash celebrate. So we're going to make him celebrate. So we're going to take this celebration animation, move it here, and we're going to select this one. Then we're going to take and connect. And then we're going to press the play button. Let's go. So he's very happy. <laughs> so we're going to continue the... So we're going to continue the quest. We're going to go to GoBot. We're going to start over. Move... 
So Dash is, a, it says that Dash is a wheeled robot that likes to move. Let's help Dash get ready to go. So we're going to have him play a brave sound. So we're going to take the sound animation, put it in the workspace. And we can select... Let's do... Let's go three. Let's go! Then we're going to connect. Then play. Let's go! So he's very excited. Okay. So now he's... So that's step one of this challenge. Let's do the next step. Now we're going to... After he makes a sound, we're going to take off. So we're going to do the drive app, put it here. We'll do this one this time. Move dot dash back. Then we're going to connect. Then play. Let's go. Okay. All right. So here's the next. Here's the other step now. So sometimes you need to make an emergency stop. So now we're going to have dash stop. So we're going to take the stop animation, move it to the workspace, then connect. Now we're going to play see what happens. Let's move him back so you can see better. Alright, so it's now complete. So we're going to, oops, let's go back to scroll quest. So now we're going to do clapping. Now we're going to do clapping dance. So he likes to sing and dance. So we're going to clap to make Dance put on the show. So we're going to have Dash turn off his lights. So we're going to take the light animation and we're going to connect. Then we're going to put, press play. Yeah. Alright, so he turned off his lights. Let's do the next step. So now we're going to have him play a silly song. Let's do Vroom Vroom. And we're going to connect. And we're going to select sensor, clap heard. So, let's see what happens when we press play. So his lights are off, now we're going to clap. And look at that. How cool is that, boys and girls? Alright, let's go ahead for the next step. So now after this, we're going to have him dance to the left. So we're going to take the dance animation, put it on the workspace. Let's do the silly one. Connect. You do it automatically. There we go. We have to select the clock and now let's see what happens. All right, so we finished that step. All right, and we're gonna now we're gonna turn off the lights. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna connect it to the light. And let's see what happens. Yippee. 
There we go. All right, we will co complete the file challenge another time, but that's Wonder Workshop. Now, the last thing I want to show you on this is free play. So we're just going to create a new one. And we got lights, we got sounds, animations, and moves. So let's do a light one. Let's have him turn on green lights. We'll have him do it instantly. Let's have him do a dizzy animation. Let's have him spin. And let's have him spin. And let's see what happens. And you press the play button to go. There we go. So it's be and you use a variety. You can make him turn off the lights or turn on lights on any color. You can have him make any types of sounds. You can and you can have him do all these crazy moves and animations. But. Free play, you can do whatever you like, and you can control program dash that way. But in any event, that's it for the Wonder app. Now we're going to go. Now we're going to go to the Wonder Go app real quick. And we're going to press play. So we're going to, so we're connecting the dash, connecting, uh, we're not going to do the, hold on, we're not going to do the, uh, the story again, but here's Dash's controller. This makes him move. And you use this controller here to move him around. There we go. And then we have this. This moves his head around. Then you you, you can make sounds. Then the light. And we got the dog. Then the dizzy sound, that makes him move. And then we got the color changing lights, and this changes the frequency of his lights. And then you can change the color, you can change the colors of the lights on his head, and then the colors on the lights on his body. So you can have two different colors. How cool is that? And then this is the control pad that moves him. This switches to his eyes. And you can turn off the like dot, you can turn off the lights, dim, make it brighter, and so forth. Just this makes him turn off all the lights. This puts them back on. But basically that's the go app for Dash. Then we have our other app, which is Blockly. So we'll click on Blockly. I'm gonna play, allow, allow. So 
select profile. Uh, we're gonna let's see. So we'll do a puzzle, one or two puzzles, really quick. Driving school. Start. So it says when start, tr transport dash. So we're going to press this start button over here to get his engine going. So we got that. So he's happy. Move on to the next step. Now we're going to get him to drive forward. So we're going to take this forward block, connect it to the start block, and then we're going to press the green start button to see how it goes. All right, so he drove forward. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to teach him how to drive backward. So we're going to find where it says drive on the side. We're going to tap on it. We're going to find the backward block, click it to the start block, and then we're going to press start to see how it works. All right, so he drove backward. All right, let's move on to the next one. So now we're going to have him go forward, backward, and forward again. So we're going to take one of the forward blocks here, move it to the start block, take the backward block, move it, connect it to the forward block, then to the forward block again, connect it to the backward block. Now let's press start to see what happens. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna have him. He want he so we need him to turn right twice. Now, as you can see, the the blocks are already connected. So we have turn right, turn right, and turn left. We want to get rid of the turn left block. We just want him to turn right twice. So we're gonna detach the turn left. We're going to find the trash can, which is all the way to the bottom right, throw it out. Then we're going to press play to see what happens. There we go. Okay. All right, so. Again, now we want him to turn right four times. So we have all the turn rights and a turn left. We're going to remove the turn left. So we just removed some of the blocks with the turn left. We're going to take the turn right blocks and connect them back. Take the turn left and throw it in the trash. And now let's see what happens. All right. Now let's do one. We're going to do one more. So we're going to have Dash look left, look right, and look forward. So we're going to find the look key. We're going to find where it says look left. So we t attach it to the start. We're going to find look again. We're going to take another look left, attach it. Then we're going to tap inside the look left. And we're going to have him... look right 90. Then finally another look. We're going to find the look left block again, attach it to the look right, and now we're going to have him Now, now we're going to have him look forward. All right, let's see what happens. Looking right, looking left, looking left, looking right, and looking forward. All right, so with that being said, we're going to return. That's it for puzzles. So we're going to do all my projects. We're going to go create new, blank project, 
and create. And we have a variety of different blocks. We have the drive, we have the look, light sounds, sounds, animations, the repeat, the loops, any types of variables, and accessories. So, let's do a quick program. Let's do all lights, green, back to light, eye pattern, we'll set the eye pattern like that, we'll have dash say hi, we're going to have him drive forward 50, and then we're going to have him do a dash, a confident dance. So let's see how that works. Alright. Alright, let's put him back all the way and just try that one more time. There we go. All right, so, and that is the that is Blockly with Dash. And now I'm, I'll demonstrate one more, which is called Path. Now, as I mentioned before, Path is for Dash only. You can't use dot for this. So we'll click on. And what you do is you drag. You're going to have dot move two spaces. And we're just connecting dash. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to have him move. There we go. And you just play these puzzles. So you make a path, then you tap on the robot, and Dash moves the path. So let's have him make a square. There we go. And then, and you just create paths for Dash. Let's see if I get a move forward. All right, hold on, let me, I'm going to put back on the Go app just to get them really quick. There we go. Now we'll go back to Path real quick. And we'll make him go backwards. There we go. Huh. 
and he just moves. And you just make the path and then tap on dash and he moves. And that's how you do the path app. So I'm just gonna call dash I'm gonna call dash back real quick. And then finally, I'm just going to show you an app really quick. Unfortunately, I do, since I don't have the components, I can't demonstrate it. But I'll show you the Xylo app. Now, this show, this teach you could play the Xylophone with Dash. So we're going to connect Dash real quick. Like I said, I can't do any demonstrations because. Because we don't have it, so we would. And you just haven't played a xylophone. But like I said, we can't play it because he doesn't have it. But, but that is that is the robot dash, and. How you control him without, with and without the apps. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. Uh, next month we're going to be, I'm going to show you something brand new. But anyway, I hope you had fun with Dot and Dash. And I can't wait till November. But until then, please feel free to check out all the other programs that myself and the other children's librarians here have to offer. But until then, this is Miss Brianne saying take good care of yourselves. Have a great day and I'll see you next month.